And I'm Chloe. And this is our solar system. Here are some facts about the planets. Mercury. The mass is 0 0.055 Earths. The surface area is 0 0.147 Earths. It's the closest planet to the sun. It is a rock planet. There are no satellites and there isn't any moons. Venus. Mass 0 0.815. Surface area 0 0.902. The second planet to the sun. It is a rock planet. There are no satellites and there are no there are no moons. Earth. The mass is 5.972 e24 kg. It is the third planet to the sun. There are approximately 2,465 satellites. It is a rock planet and there is one more moon called moon. Mars, the red planet. Mass of 0 0.107, surface area 0 0.284. The fourth planet to the sun, there are two satellites, it is a rock planet, there is two moons called Phobos and Deimos. Jupiter, mass is 317.8 Earths, surface area 1,321.3 Earths. It's the fifth planet to the sun. The known satellites is 67. It is a super giant and there is 63 known moons. Saturn. Mass of 95.152 Earths. Surface area 83.703 Earths. The sixth planet to the sun. Known, known satellite 62. Is a super giant. There are 62 moons. Uranus. Mass 14.536 Earths, surface area 15.91 Earths. It is the seventh, seventh planet to the sun. Known satellites is 27. It is a supergiant and there are 27 moons. Neptune, mass 17.14, surface area 14.98. The eighth planet to the sun, known satellites 14, is a supergiant. Therefore, there's 14 moons. We don't have any facts for Pluto because Pluto is not a planet anymore. Oh, essay. Why would people want to live on Mars? It's a one-way ticket to a new life. There's the thrill of finding new land and giving humans another chance to look after a planet or destroy it. How long will it take to get to Mars? Those are some of the small questions we have to ask first in order to find out people's motives for being on the waiting list to be the first humans to travel to Mars. John F. Kennedy once said, we choose to go to the moon not because it's easy but because it's hard. We are all children of the universe, not just Earth or Mars or the system but the whole grand fireworks. And if we're interested in Mars at all, it's only because we wonder over our past and worry terribly about our possible future. By Ray Ray Bradbury. Living on a new planet is just one bit of mankind's future. We are slowly destroying Earth and one day there isn't going to be anything left. Over the next five billion years it will burn to the last of its oxygen, blow up as a red giant and consume Mercury and Venus. Four carefully selected humans are going to take the eight month journey to Mars setting up a new future for humans and a new world for them. This is a way to see the possibilities of real life on Mars. Will the plans work for us to get to Mars or will they fail? We don't know the answer yet. answers until we do something about it. We have to find out. Just think, if you could go to Mars, would you? The pressure of being the first humans to live on Mars, that every step of your journey will be documented for a re re reality te te television program, making sure Everything is run away or you could die and fail. If you have a lot if you have a look at how many times it took attempts, so you may not mark it to Mars to the first time. The whole world will watch and experience this journey. We are all explorers. Everyone including you can Pacific participate in space exploration. This can be your mission to Mars or Mars One. The human selected will have several months of training in a remote destination including learning to 
pig components of the habitat and grow them, training in medical procedures and learning to grow their own food and in the habitat that they will be living in. Two units, two life support systems and two supplies, two, two supplies units are sent to Mars in 2022. In 2023, all units are land on Mars using a rover signal as a beacon in, two, in 1492. Atlantic then we know about the heavens, yet we choose not to say with the flora of less than three ships. So it's an explanation. It must be done on the grand scale. Wenver von Baron. Today we have touched Mars. There is life on Mars and it has extensions of our eyes in all directions. Extensions of our minds, extensions of our hearts and souls have touched Mars today. We do that there is water on Mars on the supergiant, but it does not mean that there could be life on Mars. That is the message to look for there. We are on Mars. We are the Martians, Bradbury. People do want to live on Mars, to start a new life, to be the first, the first to do the never done before. Maybe there's someone sitting next to you that will one day go to Mars and live their life. Thank you for listening.